Welcome to our lecture online. There are two main patterns when we're dealing with binomial expansions. The one pattern is the exponents on the terms. The other pattern is the coefficients that go in front in each of the terms that we get when we do a binomial expansion. So first let's concentrate on the exponent pattern. So we left out just the coefficients, the numbers that go in front of it in each case, and we'll tackle those later. So notice that we have a plus b to the first power that is simply a plus b, a to the first power plus b to the first power. If we have a plus b to the second power, notice we have a squared, a times b, and b squared. Of course, we'll deal with the numerical coefficients later. But if you see the pattern, notice that we start with the first term to the second power, then we have the first term to the first power and the second term to the first power and then we have the second term to the second power. Essentially we have b to the zero here and of course anything to the zero is one and here we have a to the zero. So we have the first term with an exponent in descending order, the second term with the exponent in ascending order. When we get to a plus b to the third power we start with the first term to the third power, just like what we have over here, then a squared, a to the first power, a to the zero power, and we don't write a to the zero power, which is just simply one, and then on the second term, we start with b to the zero power, which we don't write, b to the first power, b to the second power, b to the third power. So the first term gets exponents in descending order, the second term gets exponents in ascending order. Now let's take a look at a plus b to the fourth power. We start with a to the fourth power, so notice that these exponents always match. Then we have a to the third power, a to the second power, a to the first power, and a to the zero power. We start here with b to the zero power, b to the first power, b to the second power, b to the third power, and b to the fourth power. And that's the case in every binomial expansion. So now when we carry it one step further, we write a plus b to the n power, no matter what n is equal to, Notice that the first term starts with a to the n power and b to the zero power, just like we've done before. Simply instead of a number, we simply write n. Of course, n could be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, could be 1, could be 2, it doesn't matter. The pattern will always hold. The second term is 1 less from n, the third term 2 less, the fourth term 3 less, and so forth, and it keeps decreasing until eventually we get a to the first power and then a to the zero power. So the first term starts with the same exponent as the binomial expansion and then you see that it decreases by one all the way down to the very end till we have a to the zero. With the second term we start at b to the zero then b to the one, b to the second power, b to the third power and so forth and eventually b to the n minus one and the very last term b to the n power. We always start with the very same exponent on the second term that we have up here on our binomial expansion. So notice that the first term goes in descending order for the exponent, the second term goes into ascending order. Again, we're not worried yet about the coefficients, we'll tackle those later. That's also an interesting pattern that we'll discover there. But at least if you simply look at the exponent, that's how you find the exponent for every binomial expansion. So it's actually pretty straightforward once you see that pattern. And that is how it's done. The coefficient? No, that will be on the next video. <laughs> One step at a time. So that way it's nice and clear what we're doing here.